Hey guys, what's up? Serpentide19 here, taking a look at Imagine Earth, which is an economy sim, or more of a planet um, colonization sim. It's made by a two-man indie team, Serious Brothers. And this demo that I'm playing today was released back in 2012 on Steam Early Access, and I've just come, come around to see it and check it out. Now this game's also on funding, on a funding program on Indiegogo. I'm not exactly sure what the total amount they're looking for is, but I do know there is about 23 days, I think it was, 23 days left, or it's less than a month anyway. So if you like what you see here, you can go and support them. And I'll show you the game. Now there's no options menu from the main menu. I think that's something that needs to be changed fairly quickly, but like I said, this is from 2012, so I imagine in the two years that have passed there's been a lot of changes. So yeah, if not, yeah, I definitely think there needs to be the options menu in here because I had to go in and change a whole lot of options in the actual game itself. So I'll start a new campaign here. Now I've the demo comes with a tutorial which puts you through all the basics, tells you how to get up, um, start up a colony on a planet, gets you through all the controls and such. So that's the prologue here, which was Tuto, or tu yeah, Tuto, we're calling it that, which I three starred, which the star system is kind of from mobile platforms. So I'm not sure what they're doing with that. They probably could have done it in a better way, like giving you little awards or such that represented what you did in the game, but yeah, whatevers. And this is the second part of the demo that you're able to play, which is the planet Joma, which is chapter one, where it gives you 700 days or something, I think it's 700 days, to complete the objective. I haven't been able to do that yet. I don't think you can do it. Uh, you'd have to work. Um, yeah, I don't think it's possible because I was getting around 400,000. I think you need to get like a million or something. So I'll just pop into the game here. Gives you a little write up. Yeah, you have to get like a million people. I'm only getting up to about 400, 500,000 max. And yeah, so it, with each chapter. So they're calling them, you get these objectives that you have to finish. This one is the million people, obviously. So here we go. A little introduction from Joe, the head of the expansion department. Telling you basically what you have to do on this planet. Uh, yeah. Basically saying this is a large investment that has to go right. Yep. Alright. So this gold coin, as you see here, uh, you have to collect these to be able to build certain types of buildings. So for instance if I... Oh, I can't even click anywhere. So I have to click that straight away. I'm not sure what these um, sacks of money, what their point is at the start of the game. Like Obviously they give you money. But, I don't, they could have just given you the money instead of made you go around and click on them. I guess it's a way of them trying to get you to have a look at what's available to you on the map. So I'm probably, because there's a gold deposit here and the, yeah, yes I know, stop popping up. So I think I'm going to place... Actually, yeah, it's telling me the best place to place it, which is probably there. I get two gold. So these gold mines I can mine out for a little bit extra money. And we're just expanding our range. So everything in, all the land inside of these um, little beacon things here, um, you can build inside. Collect the coins. So we need power. So let's build up a coal plant over here. So basically this game tries to get you to 
build up your civilization focusing on three elements. Just get rid of this. Yes. Yeah, focusing on three elements, which is... Oh, that's inconvenient that the power plant is right next to the food source, but oh well. So I'll actually start mining out these gold fields now. Yeah, you have to balance these three um, three resources here, which are power, food, and like production industry or goods. Yeah, that's what they call it in this goods. So you have to keep these all above. Well, keep them in the green is probably a better way of saying it than call it keeping them above zero, which I was going to say. And in the meanwhile, you're trying to keep your um, the emissions down uh, above um, out of the red. Sorry, I don't know what I was saying there. Yeah, you're wanting to keep them out of the red. If it goes into the red, the polar caps start melting, and the water will actually rise up onto the coast, and you'll lose some land that you could have possibly built on. So I think I've got enough money for yep. To build that farm. Now at the moment I don't have any civilians but it just jumped up with the food. So you need to make it to get civilians you need to have these all in the green so now I just need a goods warehouse which I need the gold coin which should be here yep. So once you complete one of these buildings at the very start of the game you get a coin but afterwards if you build the building again somewhere else you won't get a coin for it. So grab this. And as you can see this um, the number next to where I'm placing this building which is 30 for this one it tells you how much it's going to produce and how well it's going to be suited to where you're placing it. So I'll just place there's another farm up there. I'll place it down here. Collect the gold from my gold fields. Yep. Another gold coin. And now we need houses. And I do have enough gold for it. So once you get three of these houses that I just put down, or actually what are they called? Urban Development City District. Once you get three city districts around this main central thing, which city center it's called, uh, it'll expand your building range. So stuff outside of this, or outside of these beacons, will become available. Best. Yep, that's fine. So this is actually doing slightly less. It's getting minus four food because it's right next to a coal plant that's polluting its area. And that's another thing you have to kind of keep in check is the pollution. So trees and forests are a big part of this game and actually reduces your pollution. You can farm them or log them and they'll log to if you leave it alone it'll log them to where the forest won't exist anymore but you can stop them say like halfway through and get cash from the trees you did log so that they can keep growing there and you don't lose a forest so I'm about to run out of food here so build up another farm Get that on the farmland. Then we're probably going to be struggling with power. And I think... Let's get rid of these rocks. So rocks... So far into the game, rocks don't actually do anything. They're just a... Um, land tile disruption. I'm not sure if they're going to do anything in the final game. So we've got 400 weeks remaining. You can speed and slow down time up here, which can get pretty fast. As you can see, my weeks are starting to count down. 
So, yeah, we're about to run out of... I kind of wanted to put the power plant here, but... I guess we can put it over here somewhere. 20. I think 20 is going to be the best we can get. Yeah, okay. Let's put it here. And then we can probably build another city district once we get enough money. Let's cut down some trees for that money. Get rid of these stone. This here is like an ancient ruin. I haven't actually been able to expand my um my land tile region, the beacon things, to be able to see what they actually do. So that's something maybe we'll be able to see. 300 days, maybe. Okay, so now we've got some money. Let's put down the city district. It looks like production is going to be the next one we want to boost. Okay, so those rocks was, were hiding a farmland under them. I don't really want to put the farmland right next to a factory either. Hmm. I'll just build another city district here as well. And... Oh. And place another goods production there once I can. Um, yeah, let's cut you down. Let's get rid of those rocks. Get rid of that. So there's going to be 30 buildings available in this game. Which I, I worked out should be a certain building for each section so like 10 buildings for your farming thing so when you go into here you get this circle around it's like radial um, menu so I'm imagining, imagining there'll be 10 options maybe a little bit less here maybe they'll put some options in building different city districts actually it looks like they're going to be able to fit quite a lot of different ones in this radial so yeah, there should be a lot of um, choice when the game comes out to be able to build different things. The game is heavily focused on mainly just trying to get your um, your resources in check. Nothing else really happens, like there's no fighting, no wars or anything like that. Can do that, 1800. Yeah, so there's no fightings, there's no wars or anything. Um, natural disasters can happen, like um, cyclones and stuff can come through and damage buildings. And if they damage um, certain buildings, like the coal plant and such, they will pollute a lot more. And so you have to spend some money to actually repair them. I'm about to run out of energy again and I need money hopefully it should give me a fair bit of money yeah and there's also um, like industry based disasters as well like you can have a nuclear um, oh, what do you call them nuclear meltdown and um, leaks and stuff like that from your industry buildings which can cause some damage around I haven't experienced them because they haven't really given you much time in the demo to experience those kind of disasters what are we needing? we're still needing power? wait did I build the power? I thought I... oh no I didn't have enough money So there, the power, and then we can probably get, we can probably expand, so can we check, ah, we can't see what this is, what about the one up here, no, that's too far away as well, so it just gave me a little bit more room to work with, oh, will give me, it still hasn't done it, 
Uh, nah, it's... Seems like it's spur... Oh no, it gave me some back here. Okay. So now food is becoming a problem. I want... Hey, we'll use it. Uh, 2,500. I'm going to have to log again. Seems that if you've got a forest tile surrounded by other forest tiles, the ones in the center grow faster. So it's a good idea to keep like a certain forestry area to get the maximum out of it. So now I've just got a gas power plant which um, has a less pollution output than the coal one, which is useful. Yeah, it kind of gave me a lot more land in the ocean, which I can't really do anything with. I guess that's going to be a um, one of the power buildings is something that goes on this oil field out here. Or maybe that'll be a goods production. Though I imagine it would be a power one. Oh, and the demo expired. So yeah, I think I got uh, through everything I wanted to say about the game. There is a graphics glitch or bug at the moment. Sometimes if you play the game, the buildings won't show up. So you'll just be left with the landscape. It's only happened to me once. So that's not too big a problem. So if it does happen to you, just reload the game, you should be fine. Um, you have to work in a very limited space in this game. So as you can see, oh, well, now there's a clock over it, but as you would have seen, there was a lot of um, limited space to work within. And I have a feeling that's where the building, um, building upgrades and unlocking different buildings is going to come into play where you're going to have to destroy older buildings and put them in place. Uh, as for the longevity of the game, the gameplay is pretty repetitive. And what I mean by that is you're always focusing on production. You're always trying to balance the three productions. There's nothing to kind of sidetrack from that that's like at the base level that's what the game is it's just those three or four productions if you include the population as well so yeah that's all I want to talk about I think so yeah they have a Indiegogo campaign going on less than a month left on it if you want to go and check it out game is called Imagine Earth and they're expecting to have the game finished by the end of 2014. That's been this player preview. I'll see you guys next time.